Hello, this is Jan from the University of Westphalia in Gelsenkirchen. Today we are going to have a look at what launch files are. To understand launch files we need to use the command ROS launch and we have to create a launch file. So right from the beginning please open your terminal window. I assume that you already have created a package. If you don't know how to create a package then please have a look at one of my previous tutorials or just create a package by typing down the command ROS create package followed by the package name followed by the dependencies you need. So I already created a package called test and no sorry I will use the package called test1 and here we have to create a directory called launch. Good. So if you've created your directory then I will just open my file, normal file browser and here we can see the directory called launch we just created and here we will, crea we will create a document called for example turtle mimic and really important dot launch turtle mimic dot launch good you want to edit this file so open it with gedit or any other text editor you like and I have something prepared here the launch file we want to create so we create um, copy this launch file as a um, these lines of code into my launch file and save it. So let's break it down line by line. At the beginning we have a launch tag. It has to open and it has to close again. After this launch tag we've got two groups with names with two different namespaces. Once turtle sim1 and turtle sim2. This al allows us to start two simulators without having any name conflicts. After this we've got our node which, which uses the package turtle sim and has a mimic. It uses turtle sim1 and turtle sim2. How this works exactly we will have a look later on rxgraph to see how these two nodes work with each other. Really important to say is here a launch file or ROS launch creates or start, sorry, sim simultaneously starts many different nodes at the same time. How this works we can see in rxgraph in a second. So please save this file and to start a launch file we have to, we have to type ROS launch followed by our package name test1 followed by our launch file name. You can use tab for autocomplete. So if everything goes alright we should have two windows with two turtles here. Now we can publish a message by by opening, open, opening a new terminal window and typing ROS topic. How this works we've seen before turtle sim1 slash turtle1 slash command velocity this is the topic name followed by our message type turtle sim slash velocity slash minus r for recursive and 1 for 1 hertz minus minus 2.0 and 1.8 I hope everything is spelled correctly and if we press enter both our turtles will start moving in a circle like you've seen in a previous tutorial of mine about ROS topics but the really interesting thing comes now if we start rxgraph here you can see how di our different nodes are communicating with each other. We can see here our turtle sim is communicating with our ROS out and here's our turtle sim 2. Exactly these two things we created here in our launch file, the two nodes. 
our node here, which is sending, oh sorry, this one here, which is sending recursively the, velo uh, the velocity to our turtle, is here. It uses this topic, sending it to turtle sim1, and it makes the velocity to our turtle sim2. Really easy. So here we can see really good that um, our ROS launch has created two nodes. As we could see before, because it started two turtle windows. Right. This is it for today. Really important that you have to understand how this launch file is set up. You have to um, create a new directory called launch and there you can create your launch file. And to run a launch file you have to type ROS launch um, followed by your package name and followed by your launch file. Really easy. Uh, really easy. And really please keep in mind that launch file starts up many more nodes simultaneously. So, thank you for your attention and goodbye.